In this activity, we're making paper mache in the style of Lynn Olness. Lynn Olness sculpture Goanna in Wheelbarrow represents humour in the face of unhappy experiences. Aboriginal cultural strengths often include an ability to laugh in the face of adversity, and thus this was something Olness appreciated as an essential element ensuring the survival of an oppressed people. Olness works such as Goanna where in the wheelbarrow shows how culture, cultures like that of Aboriginal, even when faced with hardship, can still laugh at the hard times that come around. Olness said that this sculpture represents his struggles with the Aboriginal art world, and he is quoted saying, working in Aboriginal art was like trying to push a wheelbarrow full of goannas uphill, a struggle for him, but resulting in a humorous work of art. Some points to think about uh, for the students to think about um, at times when they have gone through difficulties at school, at home, in the general wider community. Um, give the students ideas that can help them think deeply about these times. For example, a death in the family, being bullied, um, but make sure it's a major issue they have experienced that they have been able to carry on from. I also think that this activity is better geared for senior primary students as younger students might not be able to fully understand the issues being looked at in the activity. Okay, some of the things you'll need. you need pencils, paper, both plain and coloured, newspaper that's been cut up, PVA glue. You can also make your own glue, which is pretty easy. You just use flour and water. You use one part flour, five parts water. You boil it for three minutes and then you let it cool. You'll need paint, paint brushes and recycled materials such as cardboard containers, bottles, and these are good to use to help shape your object. Okay, so you get the student to draw an example of that what they want to make and get them to talk about why they chose this as their object. I have done two examples um, that have different meanings to me. The pink ribbon represents my mum and all the things that have gone on in my family. The turtle represents water and swimming, which have been outlets for me in difficult times in my life. But the one I've chosen to make is the turtle. Okay, so you start off by doing three or four layers. Um, of newspaper with the glue. If the children are overlapping heat, we recommend only two layers as it will take too long to dry. As you can see in the picture, I've used a small plastic container to give definition for my turtle shell. Um, next, once the first lot of layers have dried, you just continue on with your three or four layer system to get the thickness that you want. Once your paper mache object is to the thickness that you want and it's fully dried, you have to make sure that it's fully dried um, before start painting or anything like that. You can start decorating the object in different ways you want. You can use things like paint, paper, textures and different materials that you have in your classroom. For my turtle, I offered to opted to decorate it with coloured paper and markers. Um, I've used green paper, so in my last layer, instead of using news newspaper, I've used the green paper. And then I've also just drawn on with text art um, the design I wanted. But if you're going to paint, it's best to do your last layer in white paper, as you'll be saving on paint, especially if you're using light colours as you'll need to use more paint to go over the newspaper which has dark colours and writing and stuff like that on it. Okay, lastly, get students to display their artwork around the classroom as a, and as a follow-up activity, give them time to reflect and write about why they chose a specific object for their artwork and why it has meaning to them. Um, this activity is just for the eyes of the, the students and the teacher, as some of the students might have personal reasons behind their artwork that they don't want everyone to know. So it's just more 
for the teacher to find their understand, like to find the student's understanding um, and their reasoning behind it, and just for the student's own, just for their own personal gain, just to reflect on what they have done and achieved. 